Hello, all you Mintures fans on the internet. Welcome to this glorious Monday, the 21st of September 2020. With me, your chaperone, Doc Eon, here to ramble about Mintures, as always on a Monday. And we're starting out with this uh, green slot, uh, the Chaos Toad Sorcerer, as it's called in, in Reaper's Catalog, which I finally finished. Now, this is the guy I intend for a competition, as I've mentioned. And uh, the main thing here is, of course, the OSL, which, as you can hopefully see, is done in a, uh, a warm-cold uh, contrast. So, yeah, the, the yellow is perhaps a bit heavy on this loincloth. I, c I could tone that down. It doesn't really matter right now because the competition it's going for is an online competition where you post a picture for it and you can only post one picture and you have to choose your angle well. I'm not sh really sure if I'm going to go this angle, this angle, or this angle. Um, but it's certainly one of these front angles. I'm not going to show the back of it. Um, and, you know, I think it looks okay now. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take some still pics, and those always reveal mistakes <laughs> that I can't see with the naked eye, so, so if that shows up anything really egregious i'll fix it before before the final contest entry i've got until friday um, to do that but you know i'm thinking so far it looks good now unfortunately that single dude was everything i finished this week that's my lowest finished count for a week this entire year actually just one mini and the reason is that I started so many of these pirates, and I've been painting all of them at once. I've painted a little bit here, a little bit there. Haven't focused completely on any of them. I mean, a few of them. This one is, like, closest to being done, perhaps. Or maybe this one. You know, so, so I could have had a few of them done by now, if I'd chosen to go that route. But instead, I'm doing it piecemeal here and there. And this will instead lead to me seeming really productive next week because I'll probably have finished up all or at least most of these by then. Now the liches, they've not been inspiring me, unfortunately, that much. So they're still, I think they're almost exactly in the same state as last week. But, you know... Maybe once October rolls around, I will feel like that is the proper period of time to finish some undead, some scary monsters, you know, for Spooky Tober. Um, yeah, but you, you can see, I've, I've been doing stuff. I haven't been completely slacking off. It just hasn't resulted in, 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 in stuff that I can put in my light box yet. But... Patience, patience. So here's where we're at with the Burrowing Friend. Um, the actual model itself, uh, I think, is pretty much finished, barring any last-minute corrections. I've got the the dude done, and the claw. Oh, the claw stuck to something. Oh well, and this claw. And I'm starting preparing the base. The base is pretty much ready for priming. It needs to dry a little bit. So this is a lot of stuff. We we have a uh, wood base as the base. There's some milliput to build up the ridges. Uh, you can't see it now because it's covered by other stuff. But I wanted milliput instead of green stuff because I wanted something that would cure harder and be stable enough to hold these little chips of slate. This is actual stone uh, that I've acquired and, and created a sort of it's bursting up out of the ground idea here and then there is um, more material uh, there's a lot of wall filler as in this stuff which I've used to build up uh, the ground and then added various kinds of ba uh, various sizes of basing grit from GeForce 9 in this case, Gale Force 9, and, and um, a lot of white glue to hold that down. 
And uh, yeah, it looks kind of weird right now, but I'm hoping once I prime it, everything will sort of come together. But barring any um, corrections, I mean, if I start feeling the, the only thing that can go wrong is if I start feeling this looks too horribly bad. Oh, and there's some, some uh, by the way, some, some um, Vallejo Deram affects Earth here as well to cover up the millipod. Anyway, if I start feeling this looks awful uh, and I have to throw it away and start over, well, then there will be a delay. If not, this will certainly be finished by next week. And the newly prepped for stuff for this week includes the Oktoberfest girl. This is just a bit of a zenithal priming job and a, a base coat on the base, or undercoat perhaps. Then we have the the ducks, who have gotten same treatment, a little bit more black lining already. Here we have the Scottish duck and uh, the sort of perhaps roguish duck with a throwing dagger at the ready. And uh, we have uh, the pipe smoking duck, who is more perhaps a gentleman adventurer. Not sword drawn, just at the ready. And uh, the fourth one I prepped is Robin Hood's duck. Like the archer with the cap, feather, the cap with the feather in it. So, yeah. Let's see if I can dab some more paint on them. Well, I bought a few new minis, uh, or old minis, if you so like, but these are all still new, unused in their original packaging, even shrink-wrapped. So you will remember that I got the Air Myrmidon from uh, the uh, GeForce 9 Collector series a while back, and I managed to find a place that had the other three elements. We got the Earth, the Water, and the Fire Myrmidons. All four elements complete. Um, I'm lacking the th there's there's um, other sets that sort of go with these with the uh, elemental priests and or slash heroes. Um, don't have all of those yet. I think I've got a lead on where I can get them if I should want them. Um, but apart from these three, I also picked a up a fourth, which was just a general purpose. Mini, it's not for any specific adventure. I th well, th this is the monster that originally appeared in module S3 a long while ago. Uh, it's the frog hemoth or frog hemoth. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. It's, it's, it's a frog and it's a behemoth. But again, I'm not sure if it's behemoth or behemoth. So, um, well, it's just pure fun. That's what I call it. It's a goofy, goofy D&D uh, &D monstrosity at its best. Um, really, really uh, no reason, reason to exist, exist other than it looks funny and weird and that makes it cool. So uh, the Myrmidons I'm putting aside for an eventual future elemental project. But I'm gonna start up painting this guy right away. I'm 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 hoping this will be fun. It might be a bit of a build. It says it contains ten resin pieces. It looks uh, yeah. It uh, looks like it it is a lot. But I think most of it is not covering up anything else. I think I can probably assemble this fully before painting. Uh, it looks like. Mo probably most of the tentacles and stalks and so forth have to be glued together, but they're they're all sticking out in different directions and they're not hiding each other, so that should be okay. Um, but I can't stop start just one new project, so I dipped back into the Star Hat Kickstarter and I picked out three minis. These are all of the minis that were not ducks from that set. So, 
Um, we have two other kinds of birds. This one looks like a, a crow of some sort. This might be a hawk or an eagle. And this is not a bird at all, it's just a beast man. It's like a goat-headed monster. Not sure how that fits the theme at all. But anyway, they are non-human, humanoid characters. And I will paint them up. So that's four new projects to start. These three in the Frog Heath. And that's my plan for the coming week. And having revealed that, that means it's the end of this week's episode. <laughs> Uh, the week is just getting started. It's only Monday. Anyway, um, click like if you made it this far. Subscribe if you haven't done so before. Share the video with somebody who might like it. Comment about what you particularly enjoyed about the video. And above all, join me again here a week from today. Same channel, same day of the week, same Dakian. But for now, he's something else.